that she had mentioned yesterday was being able to play Marquette's brand of basketball despite Green Bay's defense. And Davenport, the, the nice power move with the left hand. Back to the starting lineup a week later. Isabel Spingola checks in the game and she'll get on the board right away. That's a three. She is a side of Van Cloonen finds Wilborn, who attacks. Kick out to Spingola, and she's good. That would be. That'd be one heck of a career. Almost unfathomable. Locked in such an impressive career in her four years. Her fourth year as well. Spingola hits another three. That's her third. But as you said, John, just two of eight right now. Heidemann putting on the moves. Finds Spingola in the corner. That's good. That three is off from Robson. Just three of 11 from three is Green Bay as Heidemann gets a basket. And a timeout will be called for Wilborn. 10 on the shot clock. Heidemann. Lost dribble for a sec. Izzy wide open for three. It's good as the shot clock expires. This is for one last shot. Five I'm seconds. Say Marquette's going to get to the rim. And Blockton will settle for the elbow jumper, but knock it down. They'll take it. And they will take it. That brings us to the end of the third. James tries to pull up Jay. It's off, and Heideman sends it way up ahead to Blockton. Nice pass and a strong finish for Zaya. And what a pass right there to set that all up. But Wolf saves it, but it's right in the arms of Anderson and Dowling will close things out as the final clock expires. So Marquette takes it in the in-state rivalry, brings it into that streak. 80 to 54 is your final.